I'm like, dude, you don't know my dad. You, you give me way too much credit. My dad raised the damn standards on work ethic, and if you say you're going to do something, you do it in honesty and all this stuff. I get way too much credit. You should give more credit to my dad. 80% of the credit should be to my dad on how he raised me, the, how he challenged me, how it was never enough. It was so freaking annoying sometimes, yeah. right? And, then you, and, and, and obviously, dad and mom, mom played a different role, role as well. But it's such an important dynamic on what you just said. Can you repeat that sentence one more time? You've never seen a... No, I've never seen someone become a world-class player, okay, in, in my sport, that the mom or dad didn't do something in sports, you know, with the genetics, like whether they played high-level college or yeah. high school or maybe the family tree. It could be a grandfather who so was an Olympic powerful. sprinter or, you know, a Russian who was a, a swimmer. So there has to be something. I've never seen it ever, okay? But you're and saying physically genetics. Are you also saying how they no, interact physic, with their no, child? No, physically. Now, hmm. the mental part, yeah. okay? Because uh, remember, if they're with Rick Macy or whoever, they're with me X amount of time a day. The rest of the time, when you go home and close that door, you're with family. You don't know what's percolating. You don't know what life lessons are going into that kid's head, how they're, how they're wired. You know, it's, it's, it's major league. To me, it's the most important. That's why, once again, you asked me about American tennis. And listen, I'm not throwing a net out there over the whole country or everybody. You're always going to have those flyers. But at the end of the day, the Eastern Europeans, you got people, they're rougher, they're tougher. It's like when I saw Serena, she was like a little pit bull. Once she got a hold of you, she wasn't going to let go. And I just said, I got to get this kid strokes and a serve. And so <laughs> that, that's, that's, you know, and that's half the battle. How are you going to handle, yeah. you know, and, and how are you going to compete? And you can teach that and nurture it. Yeah. And I do that, yeah. but it's hard yeah. to rewire things that have been put in these kids' head. So, so you know how uh, 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 the the story of uh, what's that one movie with Russell Crowe, The Beautiful Mind, where you go into that one place yeah, that he has mind. and it's got all these formulas. Like, what the hell is in this guy's mind? What does he think about? Or even Greg Kading, who found who killed Tupac and Big and he's got this whole report of names there. In even the American Gangster, where there's this one scene where it's like, who is the drug dealer behind everything? And, you know, it's Denzel Washington. It's typically when you see, like, somebody, you know, performing at a high level, somebody in that lineage raised the standards, was tough, was a son of a bitch, was difficult, was challenging, nothing was ever enough. And pop up, like, when Agassi tells a story, with my dad, nothing was ever enough. I don't know if you know his story, yeah, a different I, story I as well. It's almost like, yeah, buddy, but you would have never married Graf if that wasn't your dad. You would have never met her. You would have never been a champion if it, if I wasn't. I totally get it. Frustrating. Totally get it. I get that. Fully understand it. But they're, they're, it's almost like, you know, Mike, Mike talked about it in the last dance where he says, when you're going through it, it's so difficult. When my dad was, pre this is what my, uh, Michael says in the last dance. Do you remember that one scene when he says, you know, hey, Michael, why don't you go play outside? You know what? You know, yeah, you're just not. Let, let me and your brother do what they're doing. He says, in that moment, it drove me. It was so difficult to go through it. But he made it through, and look what level of a champion he became. He becomes mentally and emotionally tough to be able to handle all this pressure. So I don't know. I think the part that you talk about that people are raising more soft people today and parents is like, oh, my gosh, you okay? Oh, my gosh, you okay? Oh, my gosh, you okay?